is June 5th. And when you're doing a run, there's one thing you need. A good pair of sneaks. That's right, but how do you know what's good for you and your feet? Well, it just so happens there's a man who specializes in picking the perfect kicks. When you were a kid, when you got new shoes, you tended to think you were a superhero for that moment. All of a sudden you were faster or you at least imagined you were. That happens with adults too. Former Olympic runner and jumper Phil Clark says it's always good to have a fresh pair of kicks when running a 5K. If you've had the shoes more than six months, they're too old, they won't help you. Phil knows the importance of a good shoe. He's now a professional run coach and sneaker fitter at his gym, the training station in Northern Liberties. The things that go into picking out the first shoe, first of all, remember your shoe size, your casual shoe size, and your athletic shoe size are not the same. Your athletic shoe size is probably going to be bigger. In fact, about half a size or a whole size bigger. Phil says your feet need room to swell. When you're running, you're really jumping. You're taking off the ground, you're floating in the air, and then you're landing again. So when you land, you're hitting the ground with about three times your body weight. In gearing up for the Gary Papa run, Phil has some advice. So if you're new to it, my, my biggest piece of advice is start off slow. You should feel slow. You should, before your first step, you should say, I'm going to be slow. And you should just drive Miss Daisy on down the street. Ease.